Hello guys and welcome back to the channel for this video review of uh, a, a little bit of an unusual uh, piece that uh, I picked up and managed to get my hands on for this review. Uh, so what we have here is the Skagen Hagen Connected Hybrid Smartwatch and already when you look at the packaging you can tell there's something different with these symbols here, you know, for world time, notifications, activity tracking, uh, and whatnot. Uh, and looking at the bottom, of course, you see some immediate clues that there's something uh, a little bit more connected about this watch with the Bluetoothness. Um, so when I heard the term hybrid smartwatch, immediately I was asking, what does that mean? And I think you've got to kind of arrive at some definition of what a smartwatch is to to answer that question. So, you know, you might define a smartwatch as a computerized wristwatch with uh, functionality that goes beyond timekeeping. Uh, now that's a basic definition and that obviously would include things like calculator watches. Uh, but I think this day and age, a smartwatch would be expected to be, I guess, Bluetooth capable, touch screen, uh, able to play applications and, you know, perhaps have other sensors such as activity tracking, temperature and whatnot. Um, so, you know, if that's a full definition of what a 21st century of, or at least a 2010 smartwatch is, a hybrid smartwatch may be taking some of the benefits or functions of a smartwatch and merging it with the design of a more traditional watch. So, um, you know, you can see there's an analog display here and there is not going to be a touch screen on this particular model. Skagen itself is a, a Danish name, but really it's an American company and it's, uh, it's owned under the Fossil Group, the big American Fossil Group. Uh, Skagen is uh, taken from the, the uh, name of a Danish seaside town, so it's got this nice kind of ocean blue color, I suppose, uh, a sea color there. Uh, and uh, the company philosophy kind of like looks at uh, taking uh, the Danish values of honesty, purpose, simplicity, uh, and transferring it into its watch design. So, you know, that's the packaging there. And here we have uh, the Hagen, the Skagen Hagen or Hagen uh, connected watch. Uh, with that, you know, that, that nice simplicity, which really I, I appreciate the clean, the functional type of design. Um, so, you know, this, this obviously is an analog display watch with the, you know, the hour markings and then the, the one to 31 around the side that you can see there, that's actually obviously the date. Uh, it's paired with, uh, uh, I guess some of the uh, smart functionality. So it's got an activity tracker. Uh, and that's indicated by that dial on the, or at least the right hand side of the sub dial. You can see it's a percentage from zero to 100%. And this is currently sitting at about 20% of the step goal. Uh, it's got a sleep tracking type of function, you know, it kind of tries to give you an indication of light and deep sleep and how long you've slept. slept. Uh, and in terms of other functionality, it's got, um, so when it goes to A, it's the second time zone, and that's GMT. Uh, and then to go past A into B, that's your date. So right now you can see it's pointing at the, the 20th. Uh, is the date that this has been set to. Uh, there is also an alarm function, and that's when it would point to C. And then uh, for the third button, so just to show you, this is the mode button. It goes from A, B, C for C for alarm. A for second time zone, B for date. Uh, this one goes straight to the date, right? And then it goes back uh, to the time after it indicates that. And then this is the Skagen connect function button. So uh, I haven't got it doing anything, but you can connect that and set that to do something on your phone, such as answer the phone or ring the phone, take a photo, uh, and a few other little functions you can do. And then along with that, there's also a notification uh, function. So in between these uh, A, B, C, you can see the different colors there. You can set uh, the arrow to point to those different colors depending on the notification that you've indicated. So, you know, things like incoming calls, SMS, email, and, you know, some other uh, a specific app functionality and notifications you can get it to vibrate and point to one of the colors so you know the color code so that's that's pretty much the extent 
uh, of the, the functionality. Uh, the, the case is stainless steel 316L. They, they clearly uh, say, let's have a look at the back. You know, you can see some of the uh, details around the side there. It does clearly say made in China or stainless steel at the top there. Uh, and this is rated at uh, 3 ATM, you know, 3 atmospheres in terms of splash water resistance to give them some peace of mind. Uh, 42 millimeter diameter, uh, 11 millimeters uh, thick on this case. So, you know, reasonable streamliners, uh, 20 millimeter lugs that you can use to swap uh, with, I guess, personalized or third party uh, straps, uh, or in this case, uh, Scargan straps come with this quick change functionality or uh, convenience. And it's a little uh, piece there. You can use your finger to just push in to quickly slide in and immediately change uh, the straps. Uh, and so it's got a, it's got a, this one comes with a genuine leather uh, style black strap. Simple design, doesn't taper. And you can swap it out for other Scargan straps, which include nylon, silicon uh, steel mesh as well as one of the things they're a little bit more uh, known for so you know this is really quite interesting you know i think it really does take the the best of uh, uh, traditional watch design and smart watch so you know it's got this nice dress style quiet uh, you know simple type of look with leather band and then it's got the smart features and and the best of these would be the i think anyway the, the activity tracking uh, as well as internet time whenever you're connected to your you know your connected smartphone your internet connected smartphone that time is going to be absolutely accurate um, you know and then perhaps notifications i guess would be uh, another function that may come in handy uh, I, I like the clean functional design language and, and this really is quite consistent throughout the Skagen brand uh, they, they've really got a nice design language that's consistent throughout uh, many of their designs uh, and, and the feel of their watches overall. And I think it does what it claims with a degree of elegance. You know, there's nothing very extraneous about this watch at all. You know, even the button design is, you know, it's not trying to be loud at all. It's just right there. It's functional. And, you know, I think that, that really reflects the company philosophy. Um, the biggest weakness, I think, you know, I think there's not much I, I have to complain about this watch with really an MSRP of 195. Uh, it is pretty fair value for what it offers. Um, the, the only real complaint I have is um, with the, the trade-off of this being a non-charging watch. So, you know, you don't have that hassle of having to charge a watch every few days or week with many smart watches. This one has a has a battery that will last uh, and doesn't have a charge function, but it is only rated at four to six months. Uh, if you use a lot of the Bluetooth functionality, it's going to last less. So, you know, relatively short lifespan battery, uh, but, you know, I believe you can actually change this out pretty easily. You can see that, that slot there to turn the case out. Um, so, you know, it's a trade-off. You know, you don't have to charge this uh, periodically, but you do have to change that battery out uh, at the maximum, probably around six months is what the company rates it at. So there we have it, uh, a look at something again, slightly different, a brand I haven't covered before. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of hybrid smartwatches. Uh, you know, give us a like, uh, subscribe if you want to keep in touch. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.